To capture the acute lack of disaster mitigation or even prevention measures in Uganda, State Minister for Disaster Preparedness, Musa Echueru, drew lessons from the recent tour of Karamoja areas by air. Karamoja has been experiencing unprecedented rains, which left at least seven people dead last week after boulders came down on their houses in a mudslide. Floods have cut off Karamoja from Mbale district, which is the nearest route to supply food to the area. You can't access Karamoja from Mbale side. Two bridges are submerged and some completely washed off. Echuer is worried that as heavy rains continue to pound the Mount Elgon ranges, the low-lying areas are at the risk of flooding. Already floods have cut off residents in 12 sub-counties in Blambuli from other parts of the district. For at least a week now, the roads cannot be used and perishable goods have gone to waste while gardens are flooded, leaving crops ruined. Residents claim one person died and eight were injured after heavy rains fell here. So far 400 homes have been displayed, they don't, they don't have where to stay. The areas of Himuntu, then it also comes to Doho, and I'm calling to the government to please intervene. Residents now have to walk for over five hours to access the market or medical services. But as the ministry moves to intervene, Echuero says they don't have enough adequate logistics to mitigate disasters countrywide. The truth is we are not prepared at all. A country with so many traffic jams, and it does not have a, a standby helicopter for disaster risk reduction. Meanwhile, panic has gripped the people of Amuro district after rumors spread that they would be relocated soon to pave way for the Madvan group to take their land for sugarcane growing. The people of Amuro district are still coming back into the camps as it, as it used to be. The court injunction has been put. That means no, no, nobody has a right to temper until the court ruling. Hilara Yesiga, NTV.